Hi there. Now, this is a follow-up to my earlier video where I showed you how we could work out the sine, cosine and tangent for a 60-30 degree triangle and for a 45 degree triangle by using these ratios of sides. Now, if you're unsure of that, do go back and check out how we derive these ratios. But in this tutorial, I want to take it further where we look at multiples of 60s and 30 degrees and 45 degrees. As you can see down here, we're going to be looking at how we work out the sine, cosine and tangent of not only these angles, but also negative angles. Now, in order to do this work, it's easier if you're familiar with the quadrant diagram or cast diagram as some people call it where we know that if you turn in an anti-clockwise sense these are positive angles starting at 0 degrees going all the way around to 360 degrees the negative sense is to turn clockwise okay and for the trig ratios sine cosine and tangent they're all positive in the first quadrant sine is positive in the second quadrant tan is positive in the third quadrant and cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant so we're going to be using this diagram so let's start then with this block here the sine of 120 cosine 120 and tan of 120. so when working with any of these angles it's a good idea then to draw a quadrant diagram and for 120 degrees, that's going to be turning in the positive sense, anti-clockwise, and that's going to be an angle taking us to the second quadrant, something like this. So it's this angle round here, just mark it in, that is a turn then of 120 degrees. Now what we do next is we complete the triangle, always draw down onto the horizontal line here. So we've got this triangle in here. And that means that this angle in here, let's just shade it in, is clearly going to be 60 degrees. So just mark that in there, 60 degrees. Now when it comes to working out the sine of 120 degrees, then we work off this acute angle here. The sine of 120 degrees is exactly the same as the sine of 60 degrees. And the sine of 60 degrees from the triangle opposite over hypotenuse will be root 3 over 2. So we've got this result then that the sine of 120 degrees is exactly the same as the sine of 60 degrees which in turn is root 3 over 2. Now you've got to take care when it comes to working out the cosine of 120 degrees and the tan of 120 degrees. We don't go ahead and just say cosine of 120 degrees is the same as the cosine of 60 degrees and the same with the tan of 120 degrees. It's not the tan of 60 degrees. What we've got to be careful with is that in the second quadrant here, only sine is positive. The rest, cosine and tangent, a negative. So we have the cosine of 120 degrees is equal to minus cosine 60 degrees. And the cosine of 60 degrees would be adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over 2, but it's going to be negative. Negative a half then. And a similar argument occurs with the tan of 120 degrees. Minus tan of 60 degrees, because tangent is negative in this quadrant, and the tan of 60 is opposite root 3 over adjacent. Root 3 over 1, which is root 3, but not forgetting that negative. OK? Now I've got some other ones for you to try. Here we've got 225 degrees, and in the last block here, 330 degrees. So if you do want to have a go at these, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll take you through these questions. OK, so let's see how you got on if you had a go. For 225 degrees then, that's going to appear in the third quadrant. Something like this, OK? So you draw a line down here, marking this angle starting from here 
turning anti-clockwise round to there and that's going to be 225 degrees. Complete the triangle by projecting back onto that horizontal line. Just run that across there like so. Marking this angle here, let's just shade that in there. Okay, that angle then is going to be the difference between 225 and 180 degrees for half a turn. And that comes out at 45 degrees. So we've got 45 degrees there. So when it comes to working out the sine, cos and tan of 225 degrees, we're working off of 45 degrees, this triangle here. So the sine of 45 degrees and the cosine of 45 degrees are both going to be 1 over root 2. It doesn't matter which of these angles you use. But you've got to be careful because in this third quadrant, sine and cosine will be negative. It's only tangent that is positive. And the tangent of 45 degrees opposite over adjacent is going to be 1 over 1, which is 1. So the answers that you get are going to be these, okay? We end up with the sine of 225 being minus sine 45, which is minus 1 over root 2. Same with the cosine of 225 degrees, and the tan of 225 degrees is 1. So I hope you're able to get that correct. If not, being able to see at least how to do it. Now we've got this last block here, 330 degrees. So how do you get on with these ones? Again, we draw our quadrant diagram. 330 degrees will take us round into the fourth quadrant, something like this. When this angle round here then is going to be 330 degrees. So mark that in then as 330 degrees. Complete the triangle then, back onto that horizontal line. Mark in this angle in here, and that angle in there has to be 360 degrees minus 330, which is going to be 30 degrees. So just mark that in as 30 degrees. So working out the sine, cosine, tan of 330 degrees is the same as working out the sine, cosine and tangent of 30 degrees, which we can use this triangle here. Only thing to remember then is cosine is the one that's positive. Both sine and tangent are going to be negative. So you should end up with these answers. Sine of 330, same as minus sine 30, which is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. That'll be 1 over 2, so it'll be minus a half. Cosine 330, same as cosine of 30, remember it's positive, that's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. And finally, tan of 330, that's going to be the same as minus tan 30, and the tan of 30 degrees is opposite over adjacent, so that's 1 over root 3. Okay, so hopefully you can see your way through working out angles which are positive multiples of 30, 60 and 45 degrees. Now I did say to you, you can work with negative angles as well. So if we take this diagram here, turning anti-clockwise 120 degrees is exactly the same as turning clockwise, okay, right the way around to here. This angle here would be minus 240 degrees. So if we were asked to work out the sine, cosine or tangent of minus 240 degrees, this is the diagram that we would draw. Turning in this direction, fill in the triangle just as we've done. We've got this acute angle here of 60 degrees and we work off that. So the sine of minus 240 degrees will be exactly the same as working out the sine of 60 degrees, which will be root 3 over 2. Remember, sine is positive in that quadrant. When it comes to working out the cosine of minus 240 degrees and the tan of minus 240 degrees, we're going to get exactly the same results as we had down here. And for this diagram here, 
the negative angle which would take us to this line here would be a turn of minus 135 degrees. Just put that in there. And working out the sine, cosine and tangent of minus 135 degrees would give us exactly the same results as we've got here. And in this last diagram, this turn in here will be minus 30 degrees. Okay? And this too would give us exactly the same results for the sine, cosine and tangent of minus 30 degrees. So what we have then are these sets of results here, which I leave you to check out. So I hope that's given you some idea anyway of how we can handle these multiple angles, both positive and negative, of 30, 60 and 45 degrees. Okay?